Hey everybody, welcome back to Space Quest 4. You may have noticed we haven't addressed the whole space questions thing yet. That's true, we we'll have some space questions. Did you, we do, did you... we've got some leftover Check space questions. Space questions. Yeah. We're, gonna yeah, have we to, have some... we're gonna have to dig into the archives, but damn it, we're bringing back space questions. <laughs> got it. It's They're coming. Average old-fashioned desk blotter. Old-fashioned desk. It's an empty jar with a lid, neither of which does anything entertaining. Oh, oh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the space questions later. <laughs> You're just not gonna go find. You take them? the jar into custody. Eh, you know, I, I, I want to, but I also don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, there's some good stuff out there. Some good, good, solid space questions. Yeah, there are. Um, but... Ah, a button. Perhaps I'll give it a press. Oh. oh. Data entry 22795. This message is to whomever may be so fortunate as to find it. I am Professor Lloyd, lead designer of the Xenon Supercomputer <laughs> Project. I like to shimmy while standing in one spot. <laughs> the computer was designed to enhance our lives, but instead ended up being the ruin of us all. We made the mistake of tying it into the most important facets of our existence here on Xenon, including our weather control and defense systems. It seemed like a sound idea at the time, and all proceeded well for about three years. It was around then that a deep space salvage operation recovered what appeared to be some sort of antiquated data storage unit contained in a flimsy cardboard box on which the words Leisure Suit Larry were imprinted. Oh, God. On its back was the picture of a not particularly wholesome gentleman, but that's another story. My counterparts exhibited shameful behavior as they tore open the box to get at its contents. <laughs> I could not understand the commotion it generated. The data was uploaded into the supercomputer for analysis. As a result, a crippling virus spread through the machine like <laughs> a bad social disease. All control of the computer was lost. All screens went blank. Then these words were displayed by the monitors and uttered by the vocal outputs. Wilco must pay. From that day forth, the possessed computer waged war on the inhabitants of Xenon, using our own weapons against us. Some managed to escape to other planets. Those of us who remained stayed to fight the machines and robots under its control. It was a bloody war. Those of us that were not killed were taken captive and modified. These cyborgs infiltrated the loyal ranks of resistance, rooting out almost all of our hiding places and exposing us to the mechanical menace. Some of these poor souls still wander the streets. As of this recording, we are down to only a handful of rebels. My health is deteriorating rapidly. To make matters worse, I've just learned that the computer has unraveled the mysteries of time travel. I've sent my two best men to attempt to steal this new technology, if you are not a machine, then perhaps they were successful. Please realize, you are Xenon's last hope. Wow, we have a plot this early in the game! Exposition! Fantastic. I mean, it's the plot of, like, uh, Terminator 3, but it's still a plot. Yeah. So now we have to figure out why we were brought... Why we specifically were brought here. Uh, obviously... Um, Valhalla has something to do with all of this. Yeah. We are going to get a request. I guarantee... Oh no! The door has shut, <laughs> and there's no way back. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I, I know we're going to get a request to turn on subtitles. Is there a way to do that? Yes. Don't mess I with should, it. uh, but you I believe that. that subtitle... So, technically, I'm pretty sure... Oh. oh, there we go. Hmm. I thought having both on the button meant that both were being displayed, but... This hatch, locked from the other side, was your portal to this area. But there apparently you go. I was wrong. So now it's working, and I apologize that the first episode was uh, lacking in that uh, respect. You know what? We didn't have any space questions in the first episode, so... That's true. Mm -hmm. also was it really a space, space quest playthrough? Really? Without, a, without space questions? That we only started in Space Quest 3? I mean, who even knows? 
Who even knows anymore? But uh, yeah, now we can read as well as listen. For those of us who are better at reading. The, uh, using a single uh, save game. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Either you or the slime will have to be in a different position for that. Try waiting until it stops moving. Either you... Either you... <laughs> either you... E either you... I can't match Trevor, yeah? I, uh... I, uh, think it's a good idea. Can I fuck it up? I'm excited to be a part of it. Oh, no, the, the slime's just gonna kind of go around on its own now for a while. I forgot that the slime is like semi sentient and doesn't just kind of roll down the. Yeah, tube. It's, it, it goes on its way. Yep. It figures out what it wants to do and just does it. But who knows which direction it went? It's true. And, uh. This is very end of Police Quest I'm 2. Going to... Yeah, I know, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Police Quest 2, the one of the few Sierra games that never got a uh, VGA update. It's a real shame. Mm -hmm. I don't even think that there has been a fan VGA space or uh, Police Quest 2, for that matter. So, like, one day, we're mm -hmm. going to end up playing all of the games that we've played already in the VGA upgrades, right? <laughs> Oh yes! Oh, most certainly. I mean, it's going to be a few years from now, but it well, that's will what, happen. That's what we do. Like our our big goal with this whole with Sierra Saturday in general is to mm -hmm. play everything. Well, every, all of the adventure games. I'm not all going to games. say that. You know what? This is taking a while. I'm just going to restore. How time. often are remakes or remasters made, though? Because by the time we get through the entire library, wouldn't there have been a few new ones to have been released? Well, let's do this first. Oh, it's over. I mean, you know. Yeah, they don't do it very, like... As the green slime dissolves the flesh from your bones, you think, Hey, this stuff consumes 47 times its weight in acid. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's, uh, like, they don't do it that often. The last one, I think, that was, like, they, they, there was a recent one, right? A recent remake of an old Sierra uh, game? Uh, I believe King's Quest 3. You were not in a good position for that. Oh, boy. You can't use that here. Okay, well. We're done. Okay. Well, there we go. You scoop up the slimy secretion. Better get away now before it scoops you up. Okay, let's see if I can. <laughs> oh god. We're in line at the grocery store. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, that, that went better than I expected by a long, by a, a very huge margin. Yeah, that didn't seem uh, like that should have worked. But hey. No, it really should not have. But yeah, hmm. success. That's fine. Serendipity. We are going to save because I don't know if I can pull that off twice. Easily. So yeah, we're going to play all the adventure games all over yep. the place. We're even going to play the, the fan remakes. The fan remakes and yep. the, uh, the fan sequels. The fan side quests. <laughs> There's tons of them in space for Space Quest as well. So, But we're going to have to like go through the order again. And Gold Rush 2. Yes, oh, Gold Rush 2. Dear. And... The remake of Gold Rush 1. Oh. In, with, like, poser models. It's great. You don't need to look at that. <laughs> don't tell me what to look at. Alright. <clears throat> this is good for just in case we end up talking over the narrator. Absolutely. Which we will. Almost definitely. Oh, yeah. Because we're a bunch of arseholes. Bunch of arseholes. A bunch of arseholes. Should we? So there, we've we've done the the basement part of this. Uh, mm -hmm. We've collected a few objects. Yep. Ah, well, fuck. you're fucked. No. I was trying to get to the edge of the screen. I'm like clicking around like mad too. 
This shit's not fair. Uh, it's fine. So you can't see your cursor? No, I can see my cursor, uh, but, like, it's... The edge of the screen is very finicky. Right. And, like, it's like a single pixel on the, on the edge of the screen that I have to click. Well, we'll try to get it working next time with yeah. not... Ooh. Hmm. Look at the finely sculpted ship. It looks to have been designed for atmospheric operation. Probably used solely for patrol excursions. Neat. Let's hitch a ride. This seems to be a relatively spacious landing gear compartment. Wonder how cramped it gets in there when the gear is stowed. Time to find out. <laughs> hmm. The uh, sequel police on the ship never got back in before it took off. <laughs> They're patrolling. Yep. We off to the Blade Runner volcano building. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well. Uh, hmm. Oh, ship's going. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it looks kind of like a shy guy mask. <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah, those guys were just dropped off to patrol. The pilot just took off back. Yeah, this is the patrol shuttle you hitched a ride on. Mm -hmm. This is a fueling unit for the patrol shuttle. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh. Let's taste it. It tastes like nothing you'd ever want to put your tongue on again. Yeah, there's a lot of that. It tastes like nothing you... <laughs> oh, you bet. It doesn't smell great, but it smells better than you. <laughs> this scene reminds me of Firefly for some reason. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh sh sugar beets. Sugar beets! I've just completed a scan at the Labion sector of Space Quest 2. No sign of presence at this time. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
right. So we need we need the code. Yeah, we do need a code. Mm. So um shit. <laughs> Anytime we anyway, oh, we are shit. out of time for this episode anyway, so I'm going to oh. sit here trying to figure out what I need to do. Save uh, by and, the uh, bell. Save by the bell. When my teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess, and my dog ate all my homework last night. Doop doop. My dog. Probably used to monitor something or other. All right, so we'll see you next time, everybody, uh, and that way you'll also see the code uh, that we need to use for uh, for getting back to Space Quest Twelve later in the game. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to get out of here for now, though. So, uh, yep. uh, see you guys uh, next time. You got that right. I'm so glad you can join us. Space Quest 4 is a delight. And next time, we'll have your space questions ready to go. Mm-hmm. Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. Depends if I feel like it. So there. Mm-hmm. Four two nine six 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 six. Or four two five six 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 six. <laughs> so and uh, just numbers. as a side note with Vogue Optical your second pair is free oh no no, nobody wants to see all these lame <laughs> local commercials from the 80s and 90s nobody, Go- nobody. Google Casino Taxi ads Halifax oh we're uh, cutting to that enjoy. right now you're, you're cutting yeah. the video in right now <laughs> if you're a person on the go write down this number it's the key to traveling quick it's Casino Taxi's number, 4296666. Casino Taxi, they're the fast ones. Casino Taxi, near as your phone. No need to run, don't get wet, dial the number. 4296666. Or 4256666. Oh, there you go. Bye, everyone. Bye. We should have a link to it. <laughs> yeah, well, there will definitely be a card. <laughs> but no runner-up goes to Vogue Optical. <laughs> Your second pair is free. All right. Well, good job, everybody. We did it. <laughs>